sorry I'm late. I was just reading that policy about wearing creepy black. Uh... That policy to me has really gone, boy. And I, 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 there's a time I went through and I said, you know what? When I read it, I, you know, I just went, this is it. This is exactly it. So you're committed to the look? I am dedicated to that. I'm gonna, I'm absolutely, uncompromisingly dedicated to that. Thank you, Tom. And uh, please, call me criminal. As you know, uh, Scientology has gotten a little bit of a bad rap in the past. Uh, the point of this interview is to take it from here, crazy, absolute nut job cult, uh, and change people's attitudes 360 degrees and come back right here. Now, I saw what you did to Matt Lauer, so for my constipation, I was gonna take some of this, but I was wondering if you could tell me if Scientology can heal kind of that physical uh, disorder or any other physical disorders uh, without the use of uh, drugs. We are the authorities on getting people off drugs. We are the authorities on the mind. We are the authorities on improving conditions. Criminon. And I have to tell you something. I really, it, it is, you know, it's rough and tumble. Yeah, it's wild and woolly and it's blast. It's a blast. It really is fun. Oh, I'm on board. I hope Scientology makes me as regular as the Dutch. I hear some of those people go two to three times a day uh, and actually are called serial poopers. Have you ever met a serial pooper or is that just a nervous legend? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I thought, oh, what a beautiful thing, because maybe one day it'll be like that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe one day it will be that. Wow, SPs, like, they'll just read about those in the history books, you know? I don't know about all that. I do know that this constipation has been giving me horrible gas. Do you ever get used to being around extremely flatulent people? They don't come up to me. They do that. Uh, they won't do it to me. Not to my face, you know, or anywhere in my vicinity where they feel they can be confronted, you know. It's not doing it. It's just that, you know, sometimes it's just it's just so just so hard to do sometimes, you know? I don't care if someone thinks it's hard or easy. It's either either helping and contributing everything you can or you're not. Okay? Uh, because I'm carrying my load, all right? And only that, as much as I'm carrying, I still feel like I gotta do more, all right? There's still a thing of, let's go. You can just see the look in their eyes. You know the ones that are doing, you know? And you know the spectators, who are the ones that are going, well, it's easy for you, or what am I doing? And it's just, that thing is, uh, I've canceled that in my area. <laughs> it's like, man, you're either in or you're out. Yeah, I'm not watching it anymore after two girls in one cup. You know? Tom, this has been great. Thank you. But it sounds like some of the solutions you're giving me uh, may lead to some, some turtle head situations. Have you found that to be the case? There's nothing part of the way for me. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> A Scientologist can be defined by a single question. Would you want others to achieve the knowledge you now have?